Um, Karen, I'm unsure. I'm unsure who will who will break first. I really am. I don't know. I don't know. So, um, you know, I, I, I think, you know, it, it's crazy because now Candace has no money. Her, her gravy train just ran out, right? He's in jail. He was the breadwinner. How, how is, how is uh, she going to make money? You know, she doesn't do jobs like he does. So, you know, I think, and, and, and she can't keep her legs closed. So it's just a matter of time before he hears and starts smelling that there's another man over there at, her, at his house living. And then he's going to be ready to spill all because he's ready to, you know, there's no way this woman's going to be there. Sorry, I think there's makeup under my eyes. I'm not really this, I mean, I'm tired, but I'm not really this tired. I've just been out in this weather covering another case. If you guys haven't seen, hold on, let me just, give me just a second. Ah, oh, there we go. Hopefully, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, I am in bed. I am so sorry. I was ready to go to sleep and I said, you know what, let me just go on Twitter and see what uh, is going on. You know what I'm saying? No, I am not in Tennessee. I am here in Florida. I just got back from Pasco County. I was covering the case of um, retired cop Curtis Reeves. He shot uh, Chad Olson uh, at a movie theater for throwing popcorn. Yes, it does happen. So, um, yeah, she'll be drunk. She'll be drunk. We need to watch her. We need to start watching her. I need to find out what her phone number is. I need to find out what her phone number is. But Don Wells is now officially locked up behind bars. I have to say it is to Summer's Army. We did a huge mail campaign. I have to think that that had some some, you know, it helps some. It helps some. So we are very thankful right now that Don Wells is behind bars. I can't think. Um, Hawkins County Judge, what is his name? Todd Enough. I can't remember what his name is. We had it. Um, it's somewhere. But that judge finally did what needed to be done. And, um, you know, Don Wells pled guilty. I think he thought if he pled guilty, he would they would go easy on him, give another slap on the wrist. He got a uh, sentence just below what would be what would require him to go to prison, the state prison. So they gave him an 1129 1129 means he's going to serve his sentence in Hawkins County. I wish he would have went to federal, or not federal prison, but the prison. I wish they would have given him more than that. But you know what? We take our little small wins where we can get them. Um, yeah. Hey, Florida girl, now would be the time to go back and, and, and start protesting. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> Nisa, I love that. Yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. Um, I, I hope so. I hope so. I mean, they're looking like fools out there. They're looking like fools out there. Now it's time for, now that he's behind bars, it's time for TBI and Hawkins County to start getting in his cell, start talking to him, start figuring out what the heck happened up on that mountain. So here's to everybody that's been involved in this case, that has helped in this case, that has, you know, um, just been praying, been praying for Summer Wells, you know. This is a tribute to Summer Wells' birthday. You know what I'm saying? Her, her birthday present came late this year. Let's think of it like that. Her birthday present came late this year. Her birthday present is today watching the man that most likely buried her or put her somewhere go to jail. It's not much, but it's an 1129. It gets him off the streets. It keeps him from hurting another person. It keeps him from perpetrating violence upon anybody else. It keeps him from intimidating anybody else. It keeps him and keeps their finances gone. You know, what is Candace going to do? Candace, what did you do with Summer? What happened on June 15th? And don't give me this baloney that she was abducted. <laughs> 